Hello, I'm back. I'm back again. I'm going to do an unboxing. It's not um, a new unboxing for me. I've unboxed this particular vacuum cleaner several times, but it hasn't actually been used. So it does uh, get stored away in its box. So I'm going to unbox it, give you a bit of a, a tour, turn it on, but I'm not going to actually demo it because it's one that is being kept pure and virginal. No dust will enter this vacuum cleaner. I know it's sad for the cleaner. It was manufactured to remove dust and dirt from household carpets, floors and upholstery and curtains. But sadly, this cleaner will never, in my lifetime, have that task. But on the plus side for the cleaner, it will always stay beautiful and young looking, unlike the rest of us. But anyway, it's a vacuum cleaner. I'm just going to open it and show you, really. So, I think I need to angle the camera a bit more onto the actual main focus of interest. Well, here we have, as you know, it's a SIBO cylinder vacuum cleaner. It's a SIBO Airbelt C1. And uh, as far as I know, this was the first SIBO cylinder vacuum that they produce, the C1. Other models came after this, but the C1, I believe, was the very first. This has, according to the box, an efficient 1400 watt motor with optimum airflow, 65 litres per second, electronic suction control and handle, micro filtration system with three layer paper bag, motor filter and micro filter cartridge as standard, Optional activated carbon filter, exceptionally quiet, range of air belt designs available, four swivelling casters, professional quality attachments, metal extension tubes, and the model number, or as SIBO say, the art number, or article possibly that stands for, is 9610. So, without any further ado, let's open up this bad boy. It's not properly... I've never been able to get this back in the box how I received it. I bought this from eBay. I've had it quite a few years and it, I think it was uh, somebody who used to work for SIBO had uh, a few of these to sell, more than one. And I think it was about £69 or something they were selling them for. So, naturally I snapped it up. So, let's try and get this out first. First thing to come out is a very sturdy Oh, you could do some damage with that. Anyone who tries to rob me coming into my house, I'd grab this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to dent it though. I don't think it would dent. It is absolutely... That is built to last. Very long as well. So that's your telescopic extension tube. Next, to come out of the box. This is the standard head that SIBO provided with their vacuum cleaners. Ooh, there's, even though it's not been used, these thread pickers have attracted some dog hairs. I hope the dog hairs, anyway. So it's a high quality carpet and floor nozzle. Of course, you've got your pedal to lower the brushes. This particular style has been used on other machines. The last clean I had with this style was an Ilfisk. Um, other models have um, used that design, but it's a very good design of cleaning head. You've got a roller at the back to assist with the movement. Side suction channels, four channels for the suction. And similar to Miele's system, you've got a nice click fit for your extension tube. So you just locate it and it's clicked firmly. That ain't going nowhere until you press the button. Something that uh, pneumatic could adopt, but they haven't so far with their Henry vacuums. Because I know the few complaints that people have about the Henrys is that the tubes, once you get them together, they can be very difficult to part. That's, that's the same with many friction fit tubes. 
So this system is by far the easiest, in my opinion. Right, what's next? Take this bit of cardboard away. It's not a looker. I'll warn you now, but then who is these days? Well, I'm certainly not. It does, it is striking, I suppose, but it's not what I would call attractive. Or perhaps you would, I'm not sure. I like it anyway, but I've always gone for quirky things. Next to come out is the hose. This carries um, a main, well not a main, well it carries an electrical cable inside it to operate the remote control. Which SIBO really, this hasn't changed. It's changed on their D4 Premium. But on current models, such as the K3 Premium and the K3 Volcano, it is this similar design. So it's basically off like that. That turns it on and also increases and decreases the power. So they've kept that design. So that's that. And at this end, it's actually a 360 degree swivel, I believe. Or it might have a stop to it. We'll soon find out when I fit it to the cleaner. So that's the end that goes into the machine itself. Speaking of the machine, that's the last thing to come out. Now, it's... Uh, the colour I can only describe <laughs> as battleship grey. So when they were producing this machine, I, I don't think, you know, in the design stage, I thought, oh, we won't bother with colour. We'll just add the colour with this air belt here. And you can buy interchangeable air belts in all sorts of jazzy designs, some with sunflowers on, some with teddy bears on, other surreal designs just to jazz it up. But it's more of a functional looking vacuum cleaner than, I don't know, an attractive, I don't know, oh, it's a nice, it's quite nice, but the colour is a bit, you know, but, well, I'll sacrifice flash colours and metallic finishes for a solid, dependable, quiet vacuum cleaner. So this is what SIBO are about on the whole, I think. They make solid, dependable vacuums. They don't shout about themselves. They don't, they don't need to be flash. They're just, they're very humble machines. They know they're good, but they don't have to show that they're good. They just get the job done. So, here is the SIBO Airbelt C1. So let's uh, have a closer look at this machine, shall we? Well, here she is. Oh, you see, it's got dark again. British weather. And in the time it took me to take my camera off the tripod, what little brightness we had seems to have gone on. Turn the light on. Hopefully that'll make a bit of a difference. It's making the machine look even greyer than it is in real life. Anyway, this is very similar. I did a, a video of my... SIBO Airbelt C3 Power Plus which is very similar to this machine although it comes with a motorised head but the basic shape of the cleaner is the same. So underneath this flap here we have the cleaning tools all colour coordinated to match the battleship grey. Got this very nice, flexible, adjustable dusting brush in a triangular shape so it gets into corners and a nice soft brush. I'd be quite happy to use that on more delicate items. Unlike some dusting brushes that I've looked at recently that are so stiff you think you could strip paint with them. Hardly suitable for delicate use. So that's SIBO's dusting brush, nice little bit of SIBO branding. Got the lovely long full-length crevice tool. 
is unusual to have a long crevice tool on board. Most of them are, are made much smaller so they fit inside the machine but Sebo have designed this machine and subsequent machines to fit this size crevice tool. And then finally on board you've got your sort of general purpose stairs, upholstery, curtains inside the car, that sort of thing. And that's got a little brush at the front there to provide a bit of agitation should you need it. So that goes back in there. So that's the thing though, you do have to, and I've had a Miele vacuum that was the same, you have to remove this crevice tool in order to get that nozzle out. So there we go. Oops. And like the other SIBO C series I've got, the instructions are always at hand. This is how they're shipped as well when you get the machine brand new, that you, the instructions are already in that flap, as far as I remembered they were. Speaking of a jazzy air belt, you can see the one illustrated, again in black and white, but that's got some sort of, looks like some sort of, I don't know if that's the, um, sunflower one. It's hard to tell in black and white. This is claiming it's 480 air watts. SIBO don't show air watts really anymore. So 480 air watts. Whether that's at the machine end or the end of the hose I'm not sure. There you go. SIBO UK High Wickham Bucks. So very basic manuals, not really a lot to say on there, so that's that. And that will just slot back into this bit. So I mean that's that's a good little thing. You don't often see that. If somebody gets a vacuum cleaner, they might inherit it and they don't know how to use it. Well with this, as long as they've put the instructions back, and they're easy enough to find instead of rummaging through drawers and cupboards trying to find your instruction book. So that's that. On the top here we've got two large pedals, one for your automatic cord rewind and one to switch the machine on. Well to switch mains on you can actually turn the machine on and off using the handle. Similar to the other C model I've got you've got bag full indicator here and also a mains on indicator but you also have a little power takeoff socket which is behind there, you can just see that for using a power nozzle. It's a bit odd that though because you do get a power hose with this machine so you can actually add a power nozzle without having to plug it into there so I'm really not sure why that's there. But I think there were certain models that you could buy that didn't have a power hose and you could add a power head to it later on which involved clipping the flex of the power head to the hose which is a bit inconvenient. So this is where we plug the hose in. You can see there's connectors there which correspond to that little socket there. So we just have to make sure it's lined up. It's clipped in. Now let's see, is it 360? No, not quite. No, it isn't. It does have a stop to it. So it stops there and it stops there. So I wonder why they didn't go all the way with that. Although saying that, I did have several Hoover Sensotronic cleaners with power hoses that had a swivel top hose, the later Sensotronics, the squarer version and that was very problematic. If you moved the hose quickly, it kept cutting power off to the vacuum. So that's that. Actually, I'll just take that off while I show you the other bits. Got your parking bracket at the back, which holds your main floor nozzle when you park the machine. Got your plug 
and of course the auto flex which I'll just carefully do that in, that's it get in there, why aren't you going in you naughty plug you do go in, that's it so it's called air belt because it has this air belt currently all SIBO cylinder models have an air belt system so the exhaust air from the cleaner is diffused and it also protects the cleaner and your furniture from knocks underneath you've got your four very strong casters so it's highly maneuverable this machine and this is where you access the bag from underneath another little quirky thing now as you can see Oh, there's no bag in there. I've forgotten I did that. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, I possibly didn't have a spare bag at the time when I put it away. I'm not sure what happened there. But anyway, it's not being used. This is absolutely factory fresh. But in order for me to close the bag door, if I didn't have this bag collar, obviously there would normally be a bag attached to that. If I didn't have that in there, I wouldn't be able to close that. So you can't use it without the bag. But this is a way around it. I could use it now. But I wouldn't. Let's take that off. We've got a different sort of motor filter to the later models. A bit more basic. There we go. It's not going to do much filtering that really, that's just the pre-motor filter and the motor is just located behind that grill there. Pop that back and this is the exhaust filter. You can buy a um, different type, you can buy an activated charcoal filter that fits this. So that, there is slight, slight amount of carbon dust on there because obviously I have switched it on. I've not actually used it for a long period, but it has been switched on to test. That goes in there and pop that back. What, oh, what have I done wrong? That's it. So, there we have it. That's the SIBO Airbelt C1. So, as I say, no demonstration with this. I will switch it on for you. Let's get that. Just pull out the flex. And also I will show you a power head that I got a while ago from eBay that will fit this machine and it actually matches colour wise too. So pull out the flex. So I'll get this plugged in and we'll see how quiet it is. I've put a bag in actually because I didn't want to use it. I'm not actually using it but I didn't even want to switch it on without the bag in place. So I've popped in the bag, takes the same bags as the very popular X series upright cleaners. The bags for those have just recently been upgraded. This is the traditional paper bag but you can now buy a fleece bag for this machine and for the X series. So there we go, that's a bag in place. It's plugged in. Actually, I'll turn it off. So that's how it would be normally. So you turn it on here initially to power it up. And then you've got your little mains on light. So now all we have to do is turn the machine on and off and vary the power using this control here. So on, on its lowest setting, I mean, that goes very low. Wouldn't be much use, that probably got about the sort of power you'd get in a very basic rechargeable hand vac but if you've got something very very delicate I suppose it would be okay 
that goes much lower than the, the C3 I've got, it doesn't go that slow. So anyway, that's its lowest. you just saw that will light up if you get a blockage in the hose or you need to change your dust bag hence the little dust bag symbol there oh it's got that smell of a, a brand new vacuum still which is very nice and it will always have that smell I would have thought there we go so it's a it's a very lovely cleaner this now here I'll just show you this power head I got, I think it cost me 99 pence on eBay, I think it was a, another vacuum cleaner collector that was selling it and nobody else bid on it. So I had to pay postage obviously, but um, and it wasn't brand new but almost. And this is, uh, what do they call this head, what's the model of this? It's an ETC head, 150 watts. This head has been used, hence a bit of dirt, should have cleaned that before it went on film, sorry about that. Because I can use this with my other SIBO cleaners, the other C model I've used this with. And similar to the BS36, in fact it uses the same brush as the BS36, it's this one single brush. Although it looks like there's two, this is just one single brush. This is the red version. Now this would have been supplied with the black brush, which I didn't find was doing a very good job. So I replaced it with the red. The black brush is a standard brush and you can buy this optional red brush, which is a much stiffer brush. It's not as good a performer as the other power heads I've got, but it's okay. But I never found the BS36 to be a particularly good performer. They've improved it since I had one, so whether it picks up better. But that brush strip can be changed, like a lot of SIBO things. You can have easy maintenance. You do need a screwdriver in this instance though. This little metal part here, you just unscrew that and then you can have access to the brush strip. You pull the old one out, slot the new one in and just tighten that screw back up and that's easy maintenance for you so it's a wide quite a wide cleaning head you could use this it's in a commercial color SIBO's commercial gray so it's the same I think more or less the same gray as the cleaner so it does actually go quite nicely with that now it was supplied with various bits and pieces which I'll show you, to connect it up to different models. You've got this rather unusual thing, which if I hold it between my legs I can go like this with it, make it longer or shorter. And that's on a, a retractable little gizmo. So that is designed to fit onto, and I've never actually done it actually, so it does somehow fit to this. I'm not really sure how to be honest because I've never used it but it does fit on somehow. I have to have a look at that. This is the other lead I got with it. So this is would be the case if you didn't have a machine that's got a power hose with the current carrying conductor inside you would actually use, oh, in fact, no, I don't know if I can use this, I've never tried it with this machine, because I was expecting to be able to use it, hmm, that's funny. Anyway, I can demo this, but I'll have to do it with another machine, with my other, um, I've never tried it on my D series, uh, my D4, it might work with that, but I did try it um, using the power 
extension tube with my other C model and it did fit. It was a bit stiff but it did fit in. But that is supposed to fit into there. You've got this connection here so I believe that was supposed to go into there. Yes, so that fits into there. And then obviously you've got this goes up and down because you need to, as you adjust the height of the extension tube, that obviously will go up and down as well. But I'm not sure, oops, if I can actually use it with this cleaner. Always thought I could, but uh, looking at it now, I don't think I can. Not that I'm bothered, but uh, let's have a look at this. You see this pipe, this piece here. It's a very unusual bit. That must go in the hose end, and at the end of the cable, you've got this piece, which I'm assuming. Oops. Ah, there we go. Ah, yes, look. This here, you see that, must go into here somehow. Should have done this before I went uh, on camera with it, but anyway, I'm assuming that somehow fixes to there. I've got the instructions for this somewhere, so I'll have to have a look. But then it's a case of clipping all this cable using these little clip things to the length of the hose, and then somehow connecting it up to the power takeoff socket so I don't think it's going to work with this particular model and like I say I've never actually used these parts I've been, I've been able to use the head but not I don't think that I don't think that goes into no it doesn't, doesn't no there's no way that's going to fit in it's different there's some pins there and they don't they don't correspond with that at all. But never mind, so I can't show you at the time that this is a particular point. I can't show you this going, but I can do a separate little video if any of you are interested. I'll do a quick video of this. Well, I say quick. I try and make quick videos and they turn out to be about half an hour, but anyway, I get carried away, you see. So I will show you this power head in more detail but again I'll have to power it up using another vacuum there's no height control on this it's a fixed height but there is this brush control sort of traffic light system here you've got two lights so when everything is okay brush operating you have one green light when you have to change the brush strip looks like both the green and the red lights illuminate and when the brush is jammed you just have the red light it's all very obviously this is very commercial grade I mean look at that very strong then built to last looks like exactly the same wheels these wheels look just the same as the wheels you get on the current X models so SIBO, SIBO aren't a company that just produced lots of different parts and new mouldings and new cleaners for the sake of it if a part like this wheel works on one model and if they can use it on another they will if it's proved to work, if it's proved to be robust SIBO will continue to use it some other manufacturers could well take a leaf out of Sebo's book. No, I won't show it with that for the final, for the final montage. I won't show it with that head because it's a bit misleading. I always thought that that would go with this, but it does. It doesn't actually go with that. So, not that not that I'm bothered, you know. Right, I'm scrambling about behind me for me, me big head. Let's pop that in. Ooh. I really could do with having someone here holding the camera for me, but I don't think they would understand, you know. I have to keep this little interest private from folk. Well, 
some people know of course but the people I don't want to know, I don't let them know, unless they happen to come across YouTube and see, oh God, I know him, what a freak. But anyway, a freak, yes. I am, but who cares, I don't care. I like, I like vacuum cleaners, some people, petrol heads I believe they're called, like cars. People can see the beauty of a car and appreciates it, appreciate its performance, can't they? Well, for me and other people, we can see the beauty in a vacuum cleaner and other, I like other appliances as well. But we'll just focus on vacuum cleaners for now. So there we go, that's a SIBO Airbelt C1 cylinder vacuum cleaner. If you ever get the chance to buy one, brand new, I'd be surprised, but buy one. Because it's a very robust, dependable vacuum cleaner that should last a good good many years thanks for watching I will be back with more videos and uh, I've got a few other bits and pieces uh, vacuum cleaner related and other cleaning product related things to upload that I haven't made myself but I've collected through the years that may be of interest to you so I'll see you soon and goodbye